What is happening guys, Junius Tech here back with another video. Now today we're looking at a security camera. But if you remember from the video I did a little while ago about the other one that I fitted at the front of my house, it is a great camera. But it doesn't have a few of the things I tend to like when it comes to security. Like 360 degree pan and tilt. I enjoy that so I can watch what is going on. If you have a static camera, you can only fixate it on one point. But with this little guy that I'm going to be showing you today, this will allow you to have a full 360 degree pan and tilt view of whatever you are trying to either make secure or just simply just monitor. So that is what we are looking at today. So we are looking at the PC660 security camera. So let's just get straight into it. here we have the victor camera and like i said this is the pc66 wireless security camera and this is what we're going to be taking a look at so first of all we're going to go into an unboxing where i'm going to show you everything you get physically inside the box and then there's probably going to be a little bit of a time lapse showing you how i installed this here on my house and then we're going to go into how the app works and how roughly it um how it how it runs so let's just get into the uh gist of things get everything unboxed and see what we are working with so yes, this is what we get in the box, but yes, this is an issue. This is all we physically need. So a couple of things from the cards. So you've got a nice little card there from them, just telling you roughly if you enjoyed it. And then stuff to do with if you want to get a free gift, like a micro SD card or some extra cash about just leaving a review, which is quite nice. And then we have a very, very slim manual. And what this tells me is that this is going to be extremely easy to set up. So this is all we get. So it's pretty much telling you about the RJ45 Nightwake network interface which is on the back you've got the speaker microphone antenna and then there's a few other things like the reset button where to put the uh, memory card and all that good stuff so they do give you a nice little screwdriver just in case you don't have one for the back of the camera for the sd card and everything and the reset button which is quite nice and then we have some basic plugs there going on if you are going to fit this onto a concrete wall or normal wall now if you did want to power this over a uh, usb to actually use it like uh to uh through your wireless interface then you will need your power brick and a place to actually install this but as i'm going to be installing this outside i'm going to be using something a little bit different and we also get the wi-fi antenna there so like i said if you are going to be using this not over power over an ethernet you will need this as well if you're going to be doing it that way so if we look at the back of the camera we do have a very large micro usb we do have a very large usb cable so if you are going to be using this through usb it's not going to be an issue you do have a very large cable going on here but if you are going to be using it power over ethernet we also have this cable right here now if you do remember from a previous one i did about the anchor we did power over ethernet and that is what we're going to be doing again today and that is where we're going to go for so a little bit about the camera itself as you can see you've got the adapter on the back which is going to be for the wireless antenna uh, if that is the approach you we're going to go for on the back here we do have the port here which is going to be for your micro usb card your micro usd card and also the reset button so the camera itself without knocking the camera over so camera itself as you can see it is a swivel camera in both directions going on here so this is what i do like about it and then we have the camera in the center and a few things going on with the sensors, the infrared sensors and everything like that. Don't worry, we are going to go for a breakdown of the specifications. But first of all, what we need to do is actually go get this installed and actually see what we are working with. So why don't we go do that now and we'll go through the specifications later on. All right, what we're going to be doing now actually is actually testing out the camera. So I was going to be installing this outside my property. But unfortunately, the USB port I was going to use inside my house is actually now defective uh, with a power surge we had a little while ago due to the weather. So I haven't had time to get around to fixing that issue. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you a full test how this works via Wi-Fi and the app. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So all we need to do is go over to your camera and actually inside the manual, then all you have to do is scan that and it will send you to the link that you need. And that will be to download the app. it will send you straight here. As we can see, the app is right there. Click on download. So as we can see, we have the app downloaded now. All we need to do is go for the process of actually logging in or creating an account. And we're going to go from there. So I'm going to quickly do that and we'll get back in just a second. So we have just officially signed in and this is what we are led to. So in the top right hand corner, if we click the plus sign, it will tell us that we need to add a device. But it reminds us 
that it only works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi as we can see right there, which is fine. So what we're going to do is look for our camera. So what we need to do is go to security and video, and then we go need to go to smart cameras, and then it will bring us to the Wi-Fi. Now from here, all you need to do is log into your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And then you were led to this. So this is telling us with a QR code that we need to scan it against the camera. So if I grab the camera lens and then slowly start going around it, should make it. And we can hear instantly that I heard the prompt. From here, what it's going to do is start adding the device. So it's going to start scanning for devices. Oh, and I believe that is it starting to connect now. So as we can see in the top there, I did successfully. And then now we can change the name of the camera. So this at the moment is going to be indoor. So I'm going to put living room and then click on save from here i'm just going to go in the top right hand corner and click done after we've done this it'll tell us to do a notification test so i'm going to say don't show this again but i am going to do the test so i'm going to click on test next done and then here we are it's going to start loading the camera and there we go so the camera's there yes it's on its side don't worry about it so let's talk about the little things going on here so we do have the signal strength in the top down corner, which is currently at 87%. And then we also have sound and also HD and SD. So we have two modes there. We have the time calendar and the date going on in there, which is very nice. That's also something just in case something does happen around your property. You can have this as, by the way, this happened on this day at this time. And then we have a few other things. We've got a screenshot. This allows us to speak. So it's got two way audio allows us to record it's got playback so if you do get a recording you can play it back cloud storage so if you don't have a memory card you can keep this on a cloud storage and we also have direction so this is going to allow us to actually change the direction of the camera so if i hold that there we can see that i can turn the camera and i have full maneuverability of what is going on yes don't worry there is a lot of products going on in the room so don't worry about what's going on there but as we can see, we have full maneuverability of this camera and we can do it as whatever we please through the app. So we do have a few other things. So we have home management. So this is going to allow us to create a home or join a home or view your own personal home. We have message center as well. So this is going to tell you everything that's going to be going on with your camera or cameras. So as you can see, there was motion detected. I'm going to click on that and it's going to show me exactly what was going on. So that was me when I picked the camera up, I was testing. And then there's pretty much just a picture of what's been going on. While the camera's been sat there, it saw a little bit of movement. So it wanted to alarm me, which is quite nice. If I go up to the settings, there's a few other things. So I can enable or disable notifications, alarms, do not disturb schedule. So if you don't want this to go off at certain times in the day, you can turn that off as well. And then we have the home and bulletin as well. Whether you want to turn them off as well is all up to you. Now, like I said, so that is the alarms. We also have home, so it can see it on the phone model, which is mine, um, whether I remove a, a camera, add a camera, etc. And then we have the bulletin as well. So this is pretty much going to tell you everything you need to know, what has been going on. So as you can see, notification there that a mobile phone has just logged into the account. And another one saying Alexa is now successfully authorized, giving voice controls to this actual device, which is very, very nice. Like I said, when it comes to third party services, there is a huge variety you can choose from, whether you've got Samsung devices for smart things, Google Assist, Alexa, all them good things. So why don't we go through some of the specifications? I had to say Alexa, didn't I? I had to say it. So let's go through some of the specifications and we will go from there, guys. So guys, today we're looking at the Victor PD660 security outdoor camera. So yes, this is a brilliant CCTV camera recording for recording up to a 1080p resolution. Now, this is perfect for home security with a pan and tilt of a 360 degree view, allowing for night vision and also IP66 waterproof smart motion traction. Now, this really are brilliant camera that comes in two different colors of black and white with a amazing amount of features so you do have a multi-scenario use to monitor every corner of your shop or facility or area and also the two-way audio allowing you to speak to the people that are either committing a crime or even simple as just delivering you a parcel now the smart motion traction as well the camera will rotate and track the motion intelligently 
once the motion has been detected by the camera and will follow so while recording also. So the IP66 waterproof feature allows you to keep monitoring whenever it is either rainy or snowy. The security camera provides 24 seven hour safeguarding for your home or area. The night vision as well, so 18 pieces of infrared LED lights helps to view everything clearly as possible, even in dark conditions or nighttime conditions. And the CCTV camera delivers the 1920 by 1080p high definition images. It also has a powerful night vision, whether it's day or night, and the camera can always show up the clearest images, allowing you to see everything in perfect detail. So one of the great things as well with this camera is you can share the camera with your family or your friends or people you trust. If you work in a business and you want to share your cameras with your employees, you can do so simply via the app. So guys, if you are interested in going to pick one of these up for yourself, if you head down to the links in the description, there'll be a link there so you can find one out for yourself. So there we have it, guys. That was the video regarding the PC660 uh, wireless security camera. Now, I was originally going to do this where it was outside, but the USB port that I was going to be using inside my house, unfortunately, isn't working. So that is definitely something I'm going to have to get fixed. And then I will probably do another video regarding this, installing it outside the property. But like I said, this camera still is amazing. Like I said, on some of the specifications and before that, you have full maneuverability of when it comes to this camera. So it really is a great security feature. It gives you the full tilt and swivel, so you're not going to miss anything. It gives you the full ver uh, full variety of alarms and sounds, so you can track and see everything. And also the playback feature, you know, allowing you to, you know, in the middle of the night, you're not going to be watching the security 24-7, but it's going to allow you to go back and watch if anything did occur or if anything did happen around your property. And it's going to be there, especially when it comes to the likes of evidence. You know, you've got the timestamp, the date stamp, all that good stuff as well. So it is really simple, but extremely powerful. But like I said, guys, if you are looking to improve your security systems, if you head down to the links in the description, there is a link there. So you can go check them out for yourself and you will not be dissatisfied. Like I said, you can be powered over wired or wireless. So you do have a choice there. But in the end there, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do have any questions or any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos and upcoming tutorials. And as always, guys, have a nice day.